is hectic on this third day, third morning <laughs> in D23. Look at this. People trying to get their shopping done. Or get to the panels. All right, end of the queue line right here for ILM or Lucasfilm. We're going in to see the volume soon. So in this volume, we've got about 18 million pixels being rendered from wall end to wall end. And this environment right now is what we call live and it's being rendered real time. What that means is that it's being redrawn. The images here is being redrawn several times a second to keep up with the frame rate of the camera. So speaking of the camera, if you guys look to the either side of the volume, you see some TV screens. Those are showing you what the camera is actually seeing. So what we're at, the trick here is that we want everything to look correct from the point of view of the camera. This red border behind me, that's the magic window that we refer to as the frustum. And you can see that as the camera moves around the world, the image is changing to show the correct perspective for the camera. So as Bessie stands there, and if we, the rest of us, if we look at the monitors, we can see that, the, uh, that Bessie is now immersed in the world. And again, that's because the image is redrawing the perspective of the camera. How does it know where the camera is in the world? Well, we use track markers like this one attached to the camera and if you look at the top of the volume, the, at the top perimeter, we have something called mocap cameras that are actually watching that camera and all of these little markers and telling our brain bar system where this camera is in the world. And then that allows us to be able to redraw this um, so that it can keep up with the camera. Thank you so much, Bessie. This is not the demonstration you're looking for. Move along, Stormtrooper. I'm actually interacting with our digital world and you can see that light is moving to match the movement of this lightsaber. So what's really cool about that is that the, our mocap cameras know where this lightsaber is in the world and we've attached digital lights to it so that as it moves around, the lights can move. And this also is really helpful for our actors because now they can also react and act to the, uh, to the environment that's changing. And weather, it did looking exactly like we wanted this junkyard to look, but we would just do it at a convenient scale because the next step, as you can see on the right, is we're gonna photograph it and put it back into the computer. And once it's in the computer, you can see in this breakdown here how we're going from concept art to the various pieces that go into actually making the illusion both in real life and on the LED wall uh, to create the final shot. So that is actually wow. scouting a physical set that some of this has been built practically, meaning the art department physically has built it in the volume, and some of it is built on the LED wall. And here's the final result as it looks in the show, and I'll try to break it down. We've got a CG ship flying away. In the background, those crawlers, those are actually stop motion animation that was created by Phil Tippett's team and photographed and put back into the background. And then we have the mid background that is all digital. You saw that tabletop miniature that was brought into the LED wall. And then in the foreground, we've got amazing special effects. We've got actors, we've got set dressing, and then a digital K2SO to finish off the shot, right? So lots of different layers, lots of different techniques that hopefully come together to create a seamless illusion. And you can see here that example of that repetition that I was referring to earlier, where we have pieces, practical pieces in the volume to match the pieces that were digitally created on the walls. That wasn't key to us, that was AK2. Sorry, I, I, I know I was going to get some corrections later, so. <laughs> Punch it! Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for coming. So um, feel free to take the time, hand the camera to a friend, have them take a picture of you in hyperspace. The closer you get, the more the light will affect you in Star Wars. So we're going to be loading up one of these stagecraft LED lights. Stand by queue over there. There's the camera operator right here. And we're going to hyperspace right now. What a presentation. <laughs> Going through hyperspace. Yay! Yeah. Good luck, people! Want to 
Chewy. Hunt you, Chewy. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. Gosh. Jeez. Seeing the volume in person is crazy. Simpsons experience is really small, but probably the best interactive photo opportunity in this whole con. I, I think so. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's um, our new phenomenon, right? I mean, we watched the episode probably years ago, but now it's a total meme, and we get yeah. to recreate the meme. This one's hilarious. So <laughs> simple, but effective. You know, the line's not too long, but it's perfect. Don't you want to like make your own little vine curtain somewhere yeah, you in your house or like <laughs> outside in your yard area? Because like when you go inside, like the whole thing is lined up with all the vines. Yeah. You should just make one. Just you could do it anytime you want to. <laughs> it's the best. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my God. It's Nana. What's Nana, happening? Banana rings. Wait, what is going on? This is... <laughs> oh, those are dangerous. <laughs> Why? You see everything here, right? What a mashup. There's tons of Danarines over here. With security. Curious. I do one more. Very curious. Oh no. Pilverine? Pilverine. That's a good one. Pilverine. Pilverine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's a potassium. It's <laughs> stuck. The banana is stuck. It's stuck in there. <laughs> Probably some famous, you know, celebrities in there that just want to walk around and have fun at a con. Because they have mad 
have security around them. Yeah, they have security and around them. And they're just jumping in front of everybody uh -huh. in line, so yeah. doesn't it make you want to just follow them? I mean, I'm so curious. Yeah, that's, that's some celebrities right there. Very cool. All right, we're going to head down to the D23 Emporium where they sell a lot of uh, kind of older stuff, you know, the collectibles, yeah. the vintage stuff. This is where all the vendor spots are. Yes. So this is more like similar to the collectible shows that we usually yeah. go to. So they have a little corner. Yeah, they have like comics, pops, vintage Disney memorabilia. So let's check it out. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. You too. Yeah, it was nice talking to you. Thank you. Oh, look what you got here, huh? This is amazing. Yeah, it's a sign with original art. Yeah. So it's signed by the artist and by the voice actress, Margaret Carey. But she's not here right now. Mm -hmm. She's walking around. She's the original? Yeah. Original the original Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. That's Maybe if we beautiful. walk by and she's back, we could just take a quick picture. But if not, we'll have to move on. But I'm yeah. happy with this. Mm -hmm. And we had a great talk. Yeah. With our friend that owns the stall. So, I love this booth. Yeah. So much history. You can see all the different autographs. Yeah. Everything in there. Every yeah. single item is signed by someone famous within the Disney universe. Yeah, but not just animation. She has like movies, photos, and um, posters in there too. Mm -hmm. And she has a story behind most of them too. It's amazing. Yep, I remember this guy last time. Look at all these packs. Yeah, we bought a few sealed packs from him a few years ago, right? Yeah, tons of them. These are the old school ones that still have a stick of gum inside. Yeah, look at this. A couple uh, Pokemon ones. Oh, it's Grogu, honey. He's so cute. Yeah. I almost want to just hold them, right? I know, it makes you want to just pick them up and like... Oh, oh, you want upsies. Up, up. Hey, little gurgling noises. Did you hear it? Look, I'm looking at you. Oi. <laughs> Did you eat a lot of frogs today, bud? Oh, oh sleepy time, huh? This is awesome. He looks adorable. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, we are simply sensational for hands-on learning. It's a full lesson in animatronics design and production for the world leader on the subject. Tropatronics kits make steam come to life. Pins galore, yeah? Yes. It's very pin heavy and it's very Funko Pop and Lounge Fly heavy. But the draw to this is these are like the older styles that you can't find in the retail stores. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like if there was a certain bag that Box Lunch ran out of like five months ago, I'm pretty sure these guys have it or one of the vendors Somebody has, has it. Somebody has it. I mean, I like all the really old vintage stuff, yeah. like, you know, well, from, yeah. we well like before we were ever thought of. Right. You know, our parents might, might have not been here, but I mean, it's just... That's the type of stuff I like looking at. Yeah, you know? the collectible things, All the nostalgic the, things. Yeah, the historic stuff. That's mm -hmm. what I like.
got a few hours left. Um, so basically, um, when you compile all three days, um, most of it is just standing in line. Yeah. <laughs> it's a basic, you know, con expo situation, which is which is fine. We're, we're, we're used, used to, to it. it. Yeah, we're used to it. We love it. And there's really nothing you can do about it because there's tens of thousands of people yeah. that um, attend these things. But, you know, in the lines that we could get to, we got a few items. We got... Um, at the AT&T Lounge, we got this. This is a kind of a selfie. Selfie light. Selfie light, yeah. Selfie and ring light. Click it on, and yeah, there you go. But that's what we got. For you TikToky kids. Yeah. And <laughs> from the ILM um, booth, or the Lucasfilm booth, we got this. This little pin right here, which is beautiful. Uh, the effects, we got there, and they ran out of the other stuff that you supposed to yeah there's out. like hats and water bottle giveaways mm -hmm. earlier but those are all gone but we still got the bear pin yeah the bear pin yeah. so that's cool and uh, i i love doing the volunteers booth that's where we couldn't film because you we were using our hands to pack things we got ears today and mm -hmm. on the back it says d23 yep so that's pretty awesome yeah and that, i think that goes to the the food that we were packing up today goes to the food bank. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, here's another thing we got from the FX booth. <laughs> from the bear. These are uh, actual toothpick holders. Yeah, toothpick holders. <laughs> so, not too bad. And uh, while we were standing in line, you always meet a lot of great people out here. Um, so somebody went and got this. Yeah. They bought some blind boxes from mm -hmm. the lounge fly booth. Yeah. She was opening it while we were in line, and because they had doubles of Teddy, mm -hmm. they sold it to me. Because they're like, oh, we don't need two, so they sold it to me for like the same price that they bought it from. So good, I didn't have to stand in mm -hmm. line. So I got Teddy! Yeah. And there's a lot of other um, freebies we got throughout the, throughout the days. There's a lot of pins and other giveaways, but we didn't show it to you guys. Uh, we were just running around with our heads, you know, cut off, you know, pretty crazy. It's hard to stand in line for 40, 50 minutes just to get a pin. So we wanted <laughs> to do the experiences mm -hmm. first. It's just hard when you walk from one hall all the way to the other hall just to find out that the line we wanted yeah. to get into is already at capacity. And then they'd be like, oh, come back in an hour. Yeah. So we had to change the plans every single mm -hmm. time. But yeah, but I mean, being Disney fans, we're used to standing in lines. <laughs> so, I mean, it's something we got to do. And at least we're not in the sun. Oh yeah, at least we're not in the sun. It's, it's AC in here, but we had a lot of fun so far. We got a few more hours. We'll see what we can, um, you know, get to. All right, we are back at the Marceline booth. And it's become a tradition for us. Every two years, we come over here and sign a bench. It's our third time, I think. Fourth Very time. Good. We did it four times. Yeah, see, four times. Very good. All right. Now we got to find a spot. Yeah, I'm trying to find a spot. There it is. We got good fun in us right here. Okay. There we are. See it. All right. <laughs> We're That's there. All we can fit. Yeah, not a lot of room, but yeah. it's on there. It's there. Everybody is here. Uh huh. Yay. So glad that this booth is still here. Fourth time, four times, huh? Sure. Oh, 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 he's right there. All right, unless you both want in there. Very nice. Yeah. Eugene and my wife are both of my name, Rapunzel. Oh, uh -huh. I like what that. What do you think about that? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Uh. having the time of our lives. It's so good to see you. We love you. It's almost a wrap. Yeah, almost <laughs> a wrap. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll you next week. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we finally got to the Moana 2 photo op, yep. right? It's at the Walt Disney Animation booth. Uh -huh. And then we got Moana 2 posters. Yeah. Yay. Since we're 
island folk. Oh yeah. We're so excited. The line's been long the whole weekend. <laughs> so it took us to the very end just to get in. It was always capped up. Mm -hmm. So we waited, we were patient. Yeah, so we got, we got we got some pretty good. Yeah, and our picture is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best, honey. <laughs> need to wait another two years. That's okay. It's always worth the wait. Yeah. Yeah. But and this if, is, if yeah. we did this every year, I think it would be a little too much. Yeah. So having that two year break is it's like a reward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think it's better. Look who we finally run into. Yay! <laughs> That's a wrap. Day three. The and final then, day. Yeah, the ending of D23. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad, but mm -hmm. whew, we are pooped. We're pooped. Four days apart, mm -hmm. three days of expo. That's mm -hmm. a lot on the poor feet. My oh. poor toesies. Yeah, I know, our feetsies are <laughs> dead. But we got, I, I believe, we got everything that we wanted to do yeah. out of the way. We the got main a lot. things. We yeah. got a lot done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Check out all our other videos we have on here. And keep watching. We'll see you guys later. Aloha. Aloha.